Hello, hello, Ederson Oliver here. This is the DNN tip of the week. And today we will be talking about Google Tag Manager and more precisely how to install that on DNN without leveraging any third party tool, any extensions, anything like that, just with the core DNN. What is Google Tag Manager? Google Tag Manager is a feature, I know, uh, made available by Google that you can control, you can have all your, not only Google Analytics scripts there, but also other tracking codes that you might be using, you know, for different tools that you may use on your marketing efforts or some other tracking efforts that you may have on your website. So if you want to see, you know, if you want to know how to install Google Tag Manager and what is special about that script in regards to DNN, you should check this video. I hope you like it. Before I tell you about the DNN tip of the week, I want to bring to your attention our sponsor, Manage.com. Why do I have them as a sponsor? Because I use them, because I trust them, because I have been running my business on their hosting environment for over seven years now. I trust them. I have used other providers, but at the end of the day, I go back to them because of their support level and their technical abilities as well. Let me tell you, no other support, no other hosting provider out there will call you on the phone to give you the status update of your ticket. Nobody will do that. And I get that from Manage.com. That's what differentiates them. It's not only the technical side, which they are very good as well, the best one in the DNA space and beyond that, but they are also very good when it comes to support, when it comes to the personal touch. So my, my recommendation to you is host with them. You will not get disappointed. They have good rates and great, great, awesome support. That's it. Let's go back to our tip of the week. Okay. So to be able to install Google Tag Manager on your DNN website, the first step will be to actually go back to a previous video, video number seven of the DNN tip of the week, how to get Google Analytics back in DNN nine. So that's the first thing that you have to take care of. And assuming that you have gone through this initial video, at this point, you should be able to see on your DNN website, if you look at the source code of your uh, website, you should be able to see the Google Analytics script at the top of the, the page, just like this. With this, this tag, you know, you can, you should replace with your Google Analytics code. However, you might be thinking, but Anderson, we are talking about Google Tag Manager. Are you messing things up here with Google Analytics? Not really. It's just because we're going to be leveraging the same mechanism that is already built into DNN in this case, DNN 911, to add a Google Analytics code, we're going to replace that by adding Google Tag Manager. So at this point, assuming that you have gone through the first video, we're going to go to the next step now. In this step, we're going to be going to Settings and then Config Manager. From here, we're going to select Site Analytics because right now, by default, DNN will have stored uh, Google Analytics script here, as you can see, we're going to replace this script with the script of Google Tag Manager. Now, let me open Google Tag Manager here. I have, for the sake of example, I have one of my sites. And here is the code that Google Tag Manager expects you to put on the website. There are two parts for this code. One is the header script that should go in the header area of the pages. The other one is the body script, which goes, of course, in the body script. Both of them, they ask to be as high as possible in the header and as high as possible in the body as well. So again, they, they just need to be at the very top of those sections. So let's get the first one here. Let's get the head script. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back there as administrator. And this first part of the script will be injected in the header, which is where we want. However, it's injecting, inject top, false. We have to switch this to true because it needs to be as high as possible in the page. Then we're going to replace the script. 
actually let not not delete let's not delete this yet i'm just gonna place it like this keep in mind that you have to keep this opening here the c data tag at the very top and the closing here it should not replace that we're just gonna get rid of this script and add our new script however i want to bring something to your attention before we delete the old script the old script has this tracking id tag inside of it which will be replaced by our own code our own google tag manager code so before i delete this i'm gonna copy this element here this tag i'm gonna copy this just copy and i'm gonna replace you see this is my unique identificator for identification for my google tag manager account i'm gonna replace with this tracking ID. Again, this is this makes this code, this script variable. So you can have different tracking codes for different websites. Now, I can safely get rid of the script that was there. So this is the header part. This is the first step. However, there is another step here that is not clear on Site Analytics config. We have to have a second section because as you can see, Google Tag Manager has a second section called, you know, that needs to be a second script that needs to be placed within the body tag. So how can we do that? We have to create a very similar section to the section that goes in the head. And we should copy this section from the open opening tag of analytics engine to the closing tag of analytics engine. We can copy the, we should copy this. Let me try again, control C. And then I'm gonna open some space here. I'm gonna say control V. So we create a second section. However, this time around, the element ID should be body. So this next script block will be placed in the body, at the top or at the bottom. At the top, we have to keep inject top equals to true. And let's go back there to Tag Manager, copy this script. And let's go back here, replace this script with the new one. However, the same thing that we did before using the tracking ID tag, we have to do here again. Here is the ID. I'm just going to replace by this tag. And I'm going to save this. Now, once this is done, we can go back to our site. We're going to refresh this. Let's have a look at the source code now. View page source. You see, we have the script at the top and the script at the top of the body, at the top of the header, and at the top of the body, at the top of the head, actually. But we have, of course, we have this replace with your Google Analytics code right here. We need to change that we need to use our unique google tag manager code i'm going to copy this and i'm going to replace that code in our google analytics config and please refer back to the other video that i had mentioned you will see how to do that over there where to go to do that so we're just going to replace with our unique code here i'm going to save this and if I refresh the page over there, have a look at the source again. Now we see our new code in the right places. On the header, we have the code, our unique Google Tag Manager code, and at the header of, at the top of the body as well with our unique code. So this is it. This is how you can put in place Google Tag Manager on DNN 911 by leveraging the existing infrastructure that DNN makes available for Google Analytics. That's it for now. Thank you very much and bye. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, subscribe.